Meanwhile, the Davis administration is looking to bring three pieces of legislation before the end of the year. Press Secretary Clint Watson disclosing during the first media briefing this morning that these bills speak to the proposed reduction in value-added tax from 12 to 10 percent, an increase in pension, and a merchant shipping act. While working towards its substantive legislative agenda and policy priorities, the government will be completing board appointments for all 140 boards by next week, Wednesday. Uh, Cabinet has been very active and busy going through that work. The government has also given a 90-day notice to overseas appointees to allow sufficient time for the winding up of ongoing affairs as a gesture of good faith in the interest of political maturity and government continuity. Now, Watson also sharing that in terms of the government's focus areas, this includes effectively addressing the COVID-19 pandemic, strengthening health care facilities, stabilizing the economy, and focusing on climate change. The press secretary also spoke to that investigation into Bahamas Power and Light's former board, led by then-chair Darnell Orsborn. Uh, we've not heard from that report. Uh, we can confirm today that an report, a report was done by a foreign company. Uh, the name of that company uh, we're going to release to you as well. And I think you may be happy to know that we do have this report in hand. It is a very interesting read. Um, and of course, it's now been sent to the minister responsible for BPL, the Minister of Works, Honorable Alfred Sayers, for his uh, review on it. Um, it's interesting. If you missed anything, we've got you covered. Subscribe to our ZNS Network YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for breaking news, live event coverage, web exclusives, and much more.